Alice in Wonderland, read by Grandma Linda. On the bank of a river, Alice sat and sighed. She was tired of having nothing to do. She looked at the book her sister had brought her to read. But what is the fun of a book without pictures? Alice was bored. That's when a white rabbit wearing a coat and trousers came running by. He was holding a watch and saying, Oh, my whiskers, I'm late. Alice got up and followed the white rabbit as he ran down the road. Quick as he could, the white rabbit slipped down a hole. Alice, in a hurry to keep up, followed him. Down, 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 Alice fell down a long tunnel. Down she fell past shelves full of books and jars and maps. How curious, thought Alice as she dropped. She continued to fall for a long time until, thump, she finally landed safely in front of a very small door. Curiouser and curiouser, said Alice. Alice looked down at the small door, but it was so small that not even the tip of her shoe could fit through. How am I going to fit through that door, she wondered. As she was thinking of a plan, Alice saw a small bottle that had the words, drink me, printed on it. Alice hesitated, but then she took a sip from the bottle. Suddenly, she began to shrink and shrink and shrink until she was no bigger than a mouse. Just the right size to fit through the tiny door. Alice walked through the door and into a wonderful garden. As she looked around, she saw the white rabbit hurrying down a path saying, oh my whiskers, I'm late. Wait for me, please, cried Alice. But the rabbit did not stop. Alice ran, following the white rabbit again. At the end of the path, Alice saw the white rabbit sitting down for tea with the Mad Hatter and the Dormouse. The table was very big, but they all sat very, very close to each other. No room, they all cried when they saw Alice coming. There's plenty of room. Don't be silly, said Alice, who sat down in one of the many empty seats. Alice did not sit in that seat for long, though. I want a clean cup, yelled the Mad Hatter. Everybody up. Alice and the other guests circled the table many times until the Hatter found a seat he liked. But poor Alice, her seat had no cup at all. Then the Mad Hatter decided he wanted to cut Alice's hair. The white rabbit began telling silly riddles. The dormouse started to sleep. Alice was tired of that tea party. She got up and left before having even a drop of tea. That was the strangest tea party I have ever been to, she said as she walked away. Not far from the tea party, Alice met with a caterpillar who sat on a mushroom. One side of this mushroom will make you smaller, said the caterpillar. The other side will make you taller. Since Alice was getting tired of being small, she took a bite from the get taller side of the mushroom. She grew and grew and grew until she was back to her normal size to her relief. Up in a nearby tree, Alice spotted a cat with a large grin on its face. He looked so friendly that Alice asked, which is the best way to go? 
but the cat didn't say anything. He just smiled and started to disappear until nothing was left on the tree except his smile. Curiouser and curiouser, said Alice. Alice walked until she saw a garden wall and heard someone yelling, off with their heads, off with their heads. Quickly, Alice climbed the wall to get a better look at what was going on. Inside the garden, the Queen of Hearts was screaming at her card subjects, off with their heads, off with their heads. Suddenly she turned and pointed at Alice. You, she yelled. Do you play croquet? The same moment that Alice said yes, she stopped to take a look around. Why, your mallet is a flamingo. Alice laughed. The balls are hedgehogs. This is the silliest game I have ever seen. The face of the Queen of Hearts turned red and she screamed, off with her head. You'll do no such thing, Alice yelled back. The queen's face turned even redder as she shouted, get her. Suddenly, all the cards flew at Alice. You're nothing but a pack of cards, Alice said as she tried to beat the cards away. You don't scare me. Alice was still beating the cards away when all of a sudden she woke up. She was still on the bank of the river. She had been sleeping next to her sister all day. It's late, Alice, said her sister. I'm sorry, you had nothing to do but sleep. I hope you weren't too bored. Alice smiled. I wasn't bored at all. She told her sister, I had the most curious dream. And as they walked home, Alice told her sister all about her curious adventures. The end. That was a great story. Thanks for reading with me.